Alright. Fucking let's get to it, boys. Uh, oh, that's right. You said fucking uh, Magnet first, didn't you? Alright, Magnet first. Yeah, that glitch above fucking Shadow Man. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Even between two and three, you can notice such a difference in the movement. Can you not? <laughs> Proto! So is there any particular reason you wanted me to do Magnet first? So you can get the music stuck in your head? My brother hates Magnet Man. He loves Magnet Man's theme, but he hates how easy it gets stuck in his head. For the last Magnet Man block, he's like, you just gotta go. Yeah, this motherfucker. Do you not? Not be such an asshole? Uh oh. Can you? Alright, so I'm probably gonna die. But that's okay. Oh, look at him, classic fucking gates. What up, Magnet? It's okay, I wanted to do that. Okay! I also have to remember that 3 is where they added in the slide. Okay, now we're good. Slide through doors? What? Oh yeah. It automatically makes you stand. There we go. I'm remembering it now. Do not. Alright, so if we're following the order, that means Hard Man is next. At least for this circle. 
I do like the weapon get music in 3. The weapon get music in 3 is awesome, I think. I also like the weapon get music in 4, though, too. A uh, magnet missile is pretty broken. That's why I tried to... It's still pretty broken, even in Day in the Limelight, let's be honest. Bees! Oh my god, bees! The obligatory rush coil spot. Oh, uh, let's do this first. The game that introduced rush. I mean, when you think of staples that Mega Man has, this one introduced a lot of them. The only thing it didn't introduce was the charging Mega Buster. That was the only one that was introduced in the next game, really. I mean, unless you count Beat. Beat. I mean, the super armor started in 6, technically. Okay, well, Beat kind of hard. No! No, E tank was started in two. E tank started in two. this one. Which one? Which one started the W tank? Is that started in 5 or is that later? I mean, yeah, this is the first one to let you carry 9, which in my opinion is way too many! If I've had the M tank, that's right. Yeah, the M tank. Just wanna wake him up so I can go by. There. Ah! There go. Not the break, man! Get me here. Nope. Woo. So five introduced two different things. Five introduced the M tank and beat. Oh, this motherfucker. Yeah, I forgot about him. I went way too early. Alright, uh, probably gonna have to, uh, Alright, fuck it. <laughs> Didn't know it was my only. <laughs> Among Us? Fuck it, fire the- oh, really? I'm 
Among Us. The, the, the Among Us. Big, what? What is what is Bicky Among Us? Any boss. Vicky? Oh. What's the Among Us part? Among Us crewmate. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it kind of looks like it. Sort of. Uh, uh. You know, I wasn't gonna go for this life until I remembered that I have none. I guess he kinda looks like the Among Us crewmate. like that. This one's actually easier. Oh, I've got those. Now those are fleas. Hello, Matt. How you doing? But Mega Man 3 had some good music too. Top Man's is pretty good. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I do remember having swimming. Ten seconds you get to actually swim in it. Because even in Aquaman stage, you're not really underwater that long. You're underwater more in Pirate Man stage and Mega Man and Base than you are in fucking Aquaman stage. Oh, 
Oh, uh, missing. Top. Shadow. Break man being a fuckhead again. Does this one introduce sliding, rush? Proto Man. Staples. Yeah, weapon icons. Given the pause menu wasn't quite there yet. The pause menu wasn't quite there yet, but it was getting there. Okay, now these parachuting fuckheads. There's such a difference in just the way the control feels between one and two and then two and three. Just the way, just the how, how smooth everything feels between one and two and then two to three is just, it's mind blowing how much of a difference it is. Oh, Lord, he going jump at us. Ah, oh, god damn it. I got the fucking glitch where I use the whole thing. Damn it. Yeah, I would agree, but up from one to five, it got better and then six took a six didn't take six didn't go way backwards but it was definitely a step backwards from five well now i'm kind of screwed because trying to beat shadow man fucking straight up is sort of a bitch So. <clears throat> I'm kind of hosed now, so I just got to go in here and die a few times. I didn't mean to hit stage select, but whatever. Yeah, top spins always had that problem. It's like the only real, like, 
game affecting bug that 3 has really is fucking the whole top spin do. Yeah, I just forgot that with Shadow Man you have to be like super careful about how you use the top spin. You have to like barely tap his sides and then leave. <laughs> Oh yeah, the porcupines and Needleman stage? Yeah, those guys are bitches. Alright, parachute boys. No! I saw it coming too. Boss from each of the number game. I mean, yeah. He's gonna be programming a lot of bosses. Dragonflies. Okay, let's try this again now, shall we? But yeah, you got somebody who's trying to do pick one from each game. Oh, yeah, he's gonna have a shit ton of robot faster. Because you have to hit him with like your shoulder. Then fucking back out, or else it'll take all your fucking energy. Now, the top spin invincibility frame thing uh, definitely makes a difference when you're fighting Gamma. In this circle. Uh, okay. And now for one of the best electrical themes. Go! I do love Sparkman's theme. Pugman? Really? Pugman? You're probably like the first vote I've ever gotten for fucking Pugman. Although, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that we can all agree that fucking Spark Mandrill... Oh. Just about anybody can agree that fucking Spark Mandrill's music, oh, is bomb. Yeah, I'm just fucking damage boost it. Never mind, I'm dead. So much for damage boosting.
cut man from one, wood man from two. So, the question I have in regards there is, what, how did he choose these robots? Is it based on his, like, personal preference, or did he just draw names from hat? Yeah. Five and six are a problem for me because, um... I don't really have a favorite Robot Master in five and six. That's, those are like the two games that I can't really pick a favorite. Like in five, I have two that I like, but I don't know which one I like better out of the both of them. Because in five, I like Gravity and I like Napalm. But, like, every other Mega Man, I could pretty much pick my favorite and just be like, yes, that's my boy. Yeah, six, I can't... I don't really have one that I'm super nuts about in six. I mean, I guess the closest one that I would kind of be okay with on six is probably Nightman? This is a mistake. Forgot about this. <sighs> Stop. Okay, we're good. Hey, buddy. Nail shit. I was hoping you guys were gonna give me some help. But that's okay. Aircon, yeah. I actually have never played um, Mega Man Base 2. For, uh, you know, obvious reasons. Mainly because, you know, I didn't own a Wander Swan and all that noise. Trying to emulate one's a bitch. Powered up, yeah. When it comes to Mega Man 1, my favorite changes based on whether you include Powered Up or not. If you don't include Powered Up, then my favorite is Bomb. If you do include Powered Up, then Time. Go to Snake Man because he has at least a slight weakness to Shadow Blade. Okay, I uh, actually made the jump up. Did you get some air? Snacks. A blade man from DOS, yeah. Oh no! Okay. Hope you like the color green! At least 
until we get outside. He says, oh, man, if that's your favorite color, yeah, go for it. I am more inclined to uh, purple and blue myself. Look at these little bastards. Their life is just climbing up and down a ladder over and over and over again! Alright, yep, I remember the bug. Jump! When these things fucking spawn, because they will randomly launch you off the side of the platform. Because, you know, fuck you. That was dumb of me. Is that my last life? I think it was. Round two for Snake Man. Go! Now, can you fucking not? Uh oh. Bounce the boys back. Yeah, I do love me some dark blue. You love me some dark blue. What are those guys in things? Ogo something? Pole vaulting? Nothing. Remind me of this one image when I see them. Oh, <laughs> okay. Now, it's when you see them, it's when you see them walking with the pole or when they're flying in the air doing flips and shit. Woo! Like, like, you see enemies like that, and you're like, what exactly was Wily thinking when he created these robots? He's just like, I need a robot that would pole vault, and then fucking just run! Time. Not fuck it up. Always jump when those things spawn. Because if not, they will potentially push you off the side of the platform. You shoot your missile, and I jump. Take 
hit on that one. Uh, that was a bad idea. I made it though! Ha! Okay. Alrighty, so he has a slight weakness to Shadow Blade. The only game that had the Rush Marine. Which is unfortunate, because I like the Rush Marine. The problem I had with the Rush Marine was, in both games that you get the Rush Marine, there's very little opportunity to use the ship. That is true, there's a lot of blue in a uh, 3's lineup. Yep. There's a lot of blue in this lineup. Okay. Yep. Yep. Angans. Angans. Oh, geez. It's just instinctual when you play a Mega Man game. If you get hit, like, near a pit, you just immediately go, oh shit. It's like if you get hit in Castlevania. Oh, I'll take that one, sure. And he's like, let me stand here for a hot second and do nothing. Uh, can I get back up there with the rush coil, or is it too high? Oh well. Ah yes, the uh, tadpole segment. <laughs> See now, like, uh, Gemini Man stage in Day of the Limelight, I thought was done really well. Because it did the whole, like, water thing. With bubble. Which I thought was awesome. No! I refuse to use other weapons! No! It's my primary weakness in Mega Man games, and I'll keep it that way. Why did I even shoot that thing? Fuck this apple! Alright, fine. Nice! It did nothing! <laughs> oh, they in the limelight too? If I remember correctly, um... I ended up, uh, fucking 
overusing Quick Man. I used the shit out of Quick Man. Which is also what I'm trying to avoid in Day in the Limelight 3. Because Quick Man could both is was both the fastest runner and the jumpest and the highest jumper. Well, yeah, of course you use Bubble Man all the time. Because, let's be honest. Fire, 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 let's, let's be honest. If the game was titled, play Bubble Man and you'll die, you would still pick Bubble Man. I forgot that you can only go to the energy tank on that one. Oh well. Oop! Did it! Gotta make- stop making Bubble Man cool fun. I mean, I guess. I mean, when you put it like that... Ow. Ow. You stop with the missiles. Or don't. I mean, I guess he kinda looks like a Mogus. <laughs> a Mogus. Oh, yeah, Snake. Snake for the Gemini guy. Goodness, so what's next? Needle? Yeah, needle's all left, right? So then what I might do is deal with needle. And then uh that actually seems like a decent stopping point for me, because then we can stop right with the dock robots. So we got through Mega Man 1, 2, and then the original batch of eight is what we'll do. And then start, and then when I kick back up tomorrow, we'll start with the Doc Robots. Who I do not remember the weaknesses for at all! Pork pine. Anyway. You think of that image whenever you see the vaulting anyway. Damn. 
Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. Pork No! Ah, shit. Time to get all the e tanks. What do we at? We're only at three? I thought I got more e tanks than that. Ooh, not to mention the quality on YouTube has pooped itself. I'm kind of leaning in that way. I mean, to be honest, as if I could stream and just let it do whatever, then fuck it, you know? Because Twitch still works fine even while YouTube's gone, so fuck it. Bonk. 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 Oh, no, what are you coming? Bonk. Ah. Oh. Hit him with that Gemini laser. Chat on the stream interface? I mean, I could. I just never really focused on it because, to be honest, before today, I never really had much of a chat. <laughs> Let's start with the shit. We'll start with the shadow, man. <laughs> it's okay. Shaking off the rush, you know? Took, took a day, took a day I wasn't playing, you know, you gotta, gotta shake it off a little bit. Yeah, you gotta shake it off a little bit. that fire of a won't stop going nuts about saying it looks like a mogus. A mogus. Which, I mean, it kind of does. This slowness is killing me. There we go. <clears throat> this slowdown, boys. Hep, 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 hep. No! I'm down to one life now. Still at the beginning, so reset. Hard reset! I could always just fucking overpower a rush jet my way through here if I wanted to. Fuck that, fuck that. <clears throat> Got this boy all. Oh, no! Oh, okay. I mean, it worked too, I guess. 
Way too soon on that. <clears throat> I am well aware that I could use fucking Rush Jet or some shit, but I'm trying to do this stuff just normal. Still, it pisses me off. Not jumping. Oh, you know what time it is. Right? Yep. Oh, it's that time. my shit. I mean, given I should probably just use the freaking rush jet, because the dock robot stages actually want you to. Who's first? Been so long, I don't even remember. The needle cannon was way better than a shadow blade. I probably should use that on the shadow. Oh well, parachute boys! Ah, bro. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. The spikes in this room always made me laugh, because I was always kind of like, really? Who's going to fucking go that sky high in this freaking room? Uh, 
the rest of it. <clears throat> okay! Hello. I freaked out like I touched him, but I didn't touch him. Wow. Oh! Well, every dock robot has two weaknesses, so... Who's this one? Double. Probably top, knowing my luck. If that's the case, I'm gonna find the other way, the other weakness. So let's try Naddle. Shadow Blade it is. Really? Oh my god, this guy. Oh my god, this guy! Yeah, the other weakness was more than likely topspin, and I... <laughs> using topspin as a weakness is a freaking nightmare in itself. Alright, Gemini. Keep it going! Accidental good shot, but good shot nonetheless. <clears throat> Too many objects on the screen. No!
Really? Nothing freaking affects these eggs. I should have died. I didn't think about that. <clears throat> Probably should have died early on. Didn't think about that. Alright. Oh, that's okay. Flash, okay. You are definitely Shadow Blade. Oh, we're just a single weakness for that. Oh, Spark. Oh, they're completely invulnerable to Spark. Nothing to snack. Needle. Needle it is. Okay. Needle it is! Yeah, I should have died at the beginning and just came back for more lives, but I wasn't thinking. Powered, but kind of balanced by how little energy they give for it. Give me some more magnet ammunition again. Tadpoles and shit. Okay, I gotta take out one more row. More shit and spikes. Why wouldn't you be? Trying to do things all neatly and tidy, but you opted against that. Shoe? 
shit. They put a high wall directly in front of me. Put a bunch of assholes. Come on, I know you continue, so. Ah, yes! One of the few times that fucking Rush Marine is actually handy. Gee, I wonder who's going to be the boss in this one. What a bubble. To use the lights on. <clears throat> Next! Uh, next we'll go with Needle. This is the one that's heavy on the rush jet. sure who's first, so uh, we have yet to find a weakness to Gemini, so let's keep doing that. Ooh, okay. 
say he has like a secondary weakness that's even stronger if I remember correctly. Hello, Nady? Nady? On YouTube? How you doing? Magnet. Oh. <laughs> All right, so magnet or spark. To get, you know what? Let's do that, actually. Let's just... Let's just go for the full reset. Fuck it. Let's go for the full reset. We'll come back in with a fresh set of lives. What the fuck was I doing there? That's just me getting stupid. Oh, really? You're out of sync, huh? That's good. Missile boy. Huh. Jet. Do that. Okay. Alright, well, never mind. Was just gonna ride the jet, but me holding forward kinda ruined that, didn't it? <sighs> oh, really? Really rush? You could fly but not land in the air. You lazy fucking duke. Alright. I'd rather do spark. Oh, 
rather do Spark. Jet segment. That was dumb of me. Let's keep it going. Now. I do like that they at least put in the wherewithal that if you're not on the jet, it doesn't take energy. screwed. I think I am screwed. So I'm pretty sure this stuff doesn't... All the rush jet stuff doesn't uh, respawn, so I think I'm screwed. Yep, I'm screwed. the rush jet there, you're absolutely hosed. You have no choice but to do the whole level over again. And that's why there's a lot of people that hate this level. If you jump on rush while you're using it in your center. Um... 
That's true. I guess I could have done it. With the mechanic that they have set up, that would make sense. Because they only, because they have it set up so that he only uses energy when you're riding him, when you're actually like touching him, which is a, which is just yet another broken aspect of this rush jet. This is out of sync. I don't much care for that. There's a Zorgan. <laughs> Shut up, Kiwi! I was screwed! Robots have double weaknesses. Error man. Can you, can you, can you not rush? but okay, damn it. Alright, I should do this, otherwise I have to do all that shit again. And I don't wanna! Ow. Goodness. Alright. I guess the helicopter mess. Come on down. Go. Bye. Oh god, he's back! Oh loud, he's back. Thank you. 
Um, second one of needle is. Who the fuck is it? It's not quick. I want to say it's metal. No, it's crash. Okay. So that means metal and quicker and spark. Okay. But I know quick is weak to Gemini. Something else. Metal's weak to magnet. Know that. One more dark robot to go. <laughs> Got him. All right, so that means this is probably metal. Quick, one of the two. That is metal. Okay. Quick as last. Bike fall. I think what? The only spike fall I have in Daniel Limelight at the moment is uh, the secret area for dive, man. Garbage. Alright, now for quick. Uh, I know he's weak against Gemini and probably something else. I want to say Gemini and Snake? I got a bunch of lives. Damn. 
Cause Doc Robot's fucking physical contact damage is so damn high. Sure, all the ducks. Now you just gotta fight him again because why not? It's a little intermission fight for like no reason. I like they put an E in his name. Wiley. I love how it's like, Wiley ran off with Gamma. Like, it's so easy to do with a robot that big. Just, you know, just run off with him. Just carry him in like a little suitcase. Yeah. I do want that. And I imagine it's the case for everyone, but in my opinion, the Wily stages are nowhere near as bad as the Doc stages are. Cloud. I haven't seen you since yesterday. Well, I mean, Kiwi was here a second ago, but then, then he left. No, can you not? This one's the... Got stuff I got to attend soon, but I'll... Oh, okay, okay. Now you do what you got to, man. I, I always tell people... Yeah, the turtle maker. I always tell everybody to, uh... Never fucking... 
try to take never put uh, watching streams or anything like that above taking care of your life. Never. Turtles. Whoa. In a tornado. Get back here, turtle. Okay, Jesus. That one had places to be. You'll never catch me, bees! Energy tanks. Uh, I forget. This isn't the clones yet, is it? No. Can't be the clones yet. Hey, hard knuckle. I can't just can't remember what it is. A yellow devil. That's right. where Yellow Devil was up until 11. That's right, Yellow Devil first, then the fucking copy robots. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I knew, I knew the sneak, uh, the, uh, copy robots are weak to snake. I do remember that very clearly. I think they're like super weak to snake too, aren't they? I don't think it's like a regular four damage weakness. I think it's like a seven weakness. Yeah. Fuck you, grenade.
Grenade Man before Grenade Man was actually a thing. I don't like that kind of enemy placement. That kind of enemy placement is like, what? Yeah, that kind of enemy placement with that freaking hammer Joe is just. It's like, I don't want to go. I don't want an enemy placement where there's just no interaction with the player at all. I gotta have something. Fuck it, let's just go see what they got. Because fuck. That hammer Joe? Yeah. See when people talk about bad enemy placement, there's also the other end of it. Where there's enemy placement that's so nonsensical. And you're just like, I'm sorry? Gotta go up top and shoot him with snacks. Bap. Ah, shit. He knocked me down. Bap. 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 Oh, it's, no, it's, no, it's you this time. Ooh, that was actually kind of smart. Ooh, it's down here. Okay, it's you. Bap. Bap. It was the middle boy! Snack? I don't know what. Okay, he's more hard than that. Okay. Oh, yeah, these guys. That, like, never show up ever again. The doofy junk robots. Um, Icy Tower? The answer is. gonna bust through all the mainline ones. I'm gonna bust through all the mainline ones, and then I'm gonna bust through the mainline X's as well. Uh, I'll probably do the Game Boy ones at some point, too. I was also thinking earlier today, I'm like, do I want to bust through the Zeros as well? I think I'd rather put this on hard. At least that's how I'll start my streaming. Oh yeah, the ZX is. Well, I mean, there's only two, but still. Um, with those, I could just get the the, 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 the the ZX and Zero collection on Steam, can't I? I can just do that. I mean, I played them all. On my own. I have them all. So. I was also just looking at that collection. Is there anything new in that collection? Does anybody know? The ZX and Zero collection on Steam, is there anything new? Or is it just like better resolution, that's it? Oh, boss refights, and I got so many lives in the E tanks, it's ridiculous. Let's start from this side this time. Oh no, it's the snake. Ah, fuck off. You got up in my grill. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to look into that to see if, uh. I mean, yeah, they increased the resolution. Because, I mean, the Zero games were on, you know, Game Boy Advance. But I know they made them widescreen, but I don't know if they did anything else beyond that for those games. I, I would I wouldn't mind playing those at all. I wonder how I wonder how the ZX games work. 
because it used the touch screen on the DS, so I wonder how those work now. I was burnt. You need a shadow blade in your face. I mean, yeah, you have to use the mouse or the touch screen, but I'm more wondering how you use two screens, you know? I mean, given it doesn't bother me because I have two monitors. So. Oh, okay. See you, Rain Cloud. Oh, yeah, I'll be done with the Mega Man 3 long before you get back. Probably be part of the, probably be most of the way through 4, hopefully. Oh, they do it like the, uh, like the DS emulator. Where you can like, uh, where you can swap which screens are small, which one's big. Uh... I don't know which one this is. I'm just gonna take a guess. Spark. Nope. Ooh, this is a bad time. Yeah. Oh, I only did one time. So top. Hello, Shadow. How you doing? Oh. Yep. Uh, I haven't fought hard yet, so let's see if we get hard. I have to get hard, huh? Yeah, because the DS emulator um, lets you like make one screen huge, and then the other one's like a little corner, which is super handy for the Castlevania games. Nope, it's top. Is the opposite of what I want. That was a mistake. There's hard. I do win. Oh god, it hit me twice. What an asshole. Alright, who haven't we fought yet? Uh, we fought Snake. We haven't fought Needle yet. Nope, oh, Gemini. Actually, he's weak to Gemini. He's hurting me. He's one of the ones that's weak to his own weapon. Oh, that was a mistake. Eh. I'll keep it going. Nope, I got spark. Stop with the magnet! No! Stop with the magnet! No! Why did I do that? Why did he jump and not slide? Can't use the mouse for the control of the other joystick controls the DS cursor. Huh. I mean, given with both the ZX games, it's not like you have to be using that second screen, like, quickly. So... Um, yeah, so next is Gemini, because all that's left is Nettle. Okay. And if I remember correctly, there's no boss here. It just takes you right to the fucking end. Um, so I need... Shadow Blade, for sure. And then Top Spin. Did 
doesn't matter because they give you a shit ton of stuff here, so. useless oh yeah the fucking okay I remember this right now okay um this is what shadow blade is way to go I believe yeah cause it's a steppy boy steppy crab aggressive and didn't pay attention to my health. Uh, actually for the gun on the bottom, isn't it Spark? That it's weak against? Now for the gamma, which is hard knuckle for the small head, and then uh, top spin. Well, top spin or snake, either one. Yep, here we go. I should have got the fucking thing for yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh well. Little gamma. Just like that. Oh no! Super giant powerful robot of death! Mega Man spins. And it's over. Oh no. I wonder. Why, why lay? Dr. Why lay with an E in it. Still not as bad as Mega Man 7 though, or as Dr. Willy. Yeah, I've always loved that about fucking Gamma. Like, because the story of Mega Man 3 pays, plays him up as like a big fucking robot of mass destruction. It's like, no, nah, just toss him once and he fucking dies. Burn it! What's the, what's the solution to all the waste? Burn that shit! Oh, 
like how they couldn't put investigation on one line. They could put fucking reclamation on one line, but not investigation. Even housekeeping. Investigation is just too long of a word. How to mine. interesting seeing all these guys that I'm actually currently programming into the game. Also, I thought about this yesterday. It's going to be weird. Actually, I thought about it earlier today. It's going to be weird here in a second when we play Mega Man 4. Because I'm going to be so used to the levels that we made in fucking Day in the Limelight that I'm going to go to these levels in 4 and be like, I don't even recognize them. <laughs> Because I'm just so used to doing Day in the Limelight over and over and over and over and over and over and over again for testing and programming. And now I'm going to go into actual Mega Man 4 again and be like, I don't recognize these levels at all. They're all new to me. Well, not tomorrow specifically, but over the weekend I have to get the next version of Dana Limelight out. You think we're good, Icy? I think you're one of the ones that gave the approval so far, but... I think we're good for the public release over the weekend. I made a few little changes so far, but nothing major. I just don't get that black bar thing that people are getting. I don't... It's just such a tricky thing to try to find. 